Hello! Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today we are going to be doing Harry Potter Cauldron like Witch Cake Pops. The reason is because I got so many requests for something really Halloween-y. So if you just want to make witch cauldron cake pops, this is it. And more people wanted, I got so many more requests for like, more Harry Potter! More Harry Potter! The frogs weren't enough! So, let's get started. The things that I will be using today to make these will be big mixing bowl. This is a pre-made cake. It's a yellow cake using box cake mix. Normal buttercream frosting, lollipop sticks, decorative icings in four colors, black, red, orange, and green. A couple of these little fancy tips, just the small size so you can do little designs. Black chocolate melts. These are not dark chocolate. These are actually black. So if you go the Wilton chocolate melts, they have black. And one of my favorite candies, nerds. <laughs> I separated a bunch of green nerds for decorating for later. The first thing I'm gonna do is crumb, crumb up all the cake. This is how you do it. Cut it into pieces. I like to cut it into four pieces. Pick up some pieces, like so, and then just rub them together to make little cake crumbs. It's like grating cheese on itself. And if you have bigger pieces, just break it up with your little fingers. Break, 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 break. And the ratio that I like to use is one box cake to one little tub of frosting. So now you're just gonna take your hands and get in there and get messy and massage everything together. So it's one consistency. It looks a little like this, just for a reference. Nice and sticky. And take a little bit and roll little balls and then put them on this wax paper. And just roll little balls. <laughs> and they don't have to be perfect circles because after you put them in the freezer, you can kind of reshape them again to be perfect, but get them into that general sh circle shape. We got all of our little cake balls. Now we're gonna put them in the freezer for about 40 minutes and you can use this time to get all your decorating stuff out and ready. Now what we're gonna do is take these little lollipop sticks and you're going to dip them into a little bit of melted chocolate, like this. And then you're just gonna stick them about three quarters way into the little cake pop. The chocolate is acting like a glue to make sure that the cake pops stay on. The last time I did this, I dipped the pops in frosting first and the frosting did not hold very well. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no! But then I did a little bit more research and they said that you should really use the melted chocolate. And I was like, all right, that makes sense. <laughs> Ta -da! Now that we've got them all in there, we're gonna put them back in the freezer for five minutes. Ding, they're done and ready to dip. Here we go. Dipping it straight down. And then we're just going to stick it directly back onto the wax paper because that will be the top of the cauldron. We let these cool for a few minutes and check them out. They're so cute. We're gonna start with red frosting and we're gonna paint flames at the bottom of the cauldron. And then on top of that, we'll put a little bit of orange. These already turned out so much better than last time. I'm so excited. So yes, the technique of dipping it first into chocolate is a good technique. With the red, I am using a number two tip and with the orange, I am using a number one tip. Ta-da! We did all the little flames all the way around. They look awesome. And now we're gonna take the black frosting and make the little cauldron handles. Yee! I have a number two on the top. So I first did one dot on the side and then a second one to kind of mark where I'm gonna start and end and then draw a circle over it. Boom! And now the last step is putting all these little nerds on top. We're gonna take Green icing with a number two. Put it on top and then just sprinkle on the little nerds. Ta-da! We made Harry Potter cauldron cake pops. These are so cute, they turned out so well so much better than last time when we did Mario Mushroom Cake Pops. Those 1-Up Pops were looking pretty sad. But these look so cute! 
Thanks you guys for suggesting it. If you have any ideas for any other nerdy nummies, please leave me a comment below and I will do my best to make it happen. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.